Good evening all. Welcome all of you. Audio video clear. Yes. So let's start. Please mention in the chat whether the audio video is clear to all of you. Yes. So First of all, please invite maximum of maximum CSE and net aspirants and other exam aspirants to this lecture series in share this link to maximum people. So this is a free course we are running for general aptitude section specifically for CSE and net but for other exams also to an extent this course will be useful. So today we are discussing shortcut methods to solve general aptitude questions or objective type questions. This is very useful for uh, as I told CSER and other objective type questions also especially today's session. And uh, as we have told before also in this course every session will be of 30 minutes. In 30 minutes maximum learning that is what we are planning for. And uh, those of you want to be part of the free resources and if you want to get more study materials the daily study materials will be updated in the telegram channel and whatsapp group. So be part of the telegram channel and whatsapp group and uh, subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss any of the upcoming sessions this youtube channel so this is the details of how to be part of the telegram channel and whatsapp group in the description of this video also you can see more details or the links to directly join the telegram channel and whatsapp group and those of you want the printed study material for CSER net many of you were asking uh, how to get the book you can search in amazon and flipkart it is available this is a latest edition the seventh edition if you search this uh, book title CSER net general aptitude and new outlook you will find uh, find it in amazon and flipkart and you can purchase from there uh, this is the bestseller book for part a preparation available now so and as i told yesterday this course the objective of this course we have discussed in detail and uh, this is how the course will be minimum time maximum learning focusing on theory and additional question solution and quizzes will be posted in the uh, link in the link that we will be sending after the class yesterday's link i hope all of you got it in the link you can see the other resources that you can use to learn the particular topic more in detail for example today when i am discussing shortcut methods i will be discussing the most important shortcut methods in half an hour and the remaining shortcut methods will be discussed or re remaining shortcut methods you can access from that link itself you can find the video uh, where i have explained more shortcut methods in detail so uh, that is how the learning will be proceeding uh, through the live classes and the links we are providing after every class you can cover the entire CSER net part a section through this free class itself and this is what we are going to discuss as I have told yesterday, the problem when we approach questions are, we have one or two methods in our mind and all questions we try to do with those methods only. But I always tell CSER net exam or part A section is like going for a war. When you go for a war, if you have multiple weapons and if you know how to use it or where to use it or when to use it, that will be better, right? Same way, if you have different approaches or shortcut approaches, and accordingly, according to the merit of the question, according to the nature of the answer option, if you can choose which is the best method for the question, that will solve the questions very fast and that will make you uh, uh, solve more questions in less time. So I will be training you this in this session, the different shortcut approaches by which you can solve questions much, much faster. Many of you will be able to solve questions but how to do it more effectively okay one more thing i want to tell you there are moderators and uh, uh, the other educator jesse sir also will be joining the chat uh, they will help you out with any of your concerns the so moderators pratik swati srishti will help you out and jesse sir also will be helping you out when he is getting time he will also join the chat and help you out to uh, clear your other doubts so that i will focus more on the live session itself Okay. Yes, Sanjeev, non-verbal part of gate is similar to CSER net. Yes. Okay. So let us start. 
This is a summary of the most important methods. This summary and this flashcard and other flashcards are available in my Telegram channel, Telegram group media section. And in the upcoming days, I will try to post more uh, flashcards in the Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. So stay tuned uh, so that you can get more resources. So uh, we will start with questions itself. With question, I will explain different methods. These 15 methods, majority or uh, the most important ones, I will discuss through the questions. So I will give you only one and a half minutes to try as it is a half an hour session. Giving more than one and a half minutes will not be practical. So please try this question in the first one and a half minutes I am giving. All of you try this. As I have told, this course is primarily for CSAR, but the topics that is common for CSAR and other exams, for those topics, definitely it will be useful for other exams like GATE exam also. For UGC, the common topics of CSAR and UGC, in UGC there are three papers that is similar to CSAR net part time Mamta. One is uh, the quant part, second is reasoning part, third is data interpretation part. For that topics, this will be useful to an extent, but there some of these topics are not there. That is why to an extent it will be helpful for UGC net. That means art stream net. But if you are a science stream student, this course is specifically designed such a way that your entire syllabus of CSAR net part A will be covered in this. Thus, if you got the answer, you can mention in the chat, mention your answers. Shivani got an answer, Mukesh got an answer, all of you. You are getting an answer, mention it in the chat. Yeah, it is already one and a half minutes up. So let us start. So this was a previous CSAR net question which came in December 2014. Ajay Bandi Chinu Dub were agent, baker, compounder and designer but not necessarily in that order. Dep tall baker that Chinu is on his way. Dep tall baker that Chinu is on his way means the meaning is there are four people, Ajay Bandi Chinu Dep, and there are four profession agent, baker, compounder, designer. About these four people and their profession, some clues are given. What are the clues given? First clue given is Deb told Baker that Chinu is on his way. Deb is talking to Baker about a third person Chinu. That means Deb, Baker, and Chinu are three different people. Deb, Baker, and Chinu are three different people. Deb is talking to Baker about a third person Chinu. That means Chinu cannot be the Baker. Chinu cannot be the Baker. From the first hypothesis that Deb told Baker that Chinu is on his way, we can say Chinu cannot be the Baker. So, one way of doing this question is using direct mother. Using direct mother means writing all the hypothesis and combining the hypothesis and writing down what all are possible. What all are possible you are writing down. For example, Deb told Baker that Chinu is on his way means Deb was not Baker, Chinu is not Baker. Once again, let me clarify today's session is to give you familiarity with different methods of solving questions and which is the better method to make you realize it. The first time explaining the methods that is not very uh, effective so that you will understand why the better methods are needed. So the first approach is direct mother. Direct mother is just writing down whatever hypothesis we get and the conclusions from the hypothesis. Deb is talking to the baker about Chinu. So Deb cannot be the baker because Deb is talking to the baker. So they are two different people. And about Chinu means Chinu also cannot be the baker. Chinu cannot be having the profession of baker. So Chinu cannot be baker. You are writing down that. Now Ajay is sitting across the designer and next to the compounder means this is the meaning across the designer, opposite to the designer. We don't know the person who is designer but Ajay is sitting opposite to him. And next to the com compounder means Ajay is sitting next to compounder. Ajay is sitting next to compounder like this. This image is self-explanatory I guess. That means Ajay cannot be compounder, Ajay cannot be designer. Now why? Because Ajay is sitting with them, Ajay cannot be them. Ajay is sitting with them. Ajay cannot be them. I hope it is clear to all of you. Now, if you combine first and second sentence, first sentence told that Deb told Baker Chinu is on his way. First sentence told that Deb told Baker Chinu is on his way. 
That means Tinu is on his way means Tinu is moving from one place to another. Tinu is on the way to somewhere. That means Tinu is moving. Tinu is moving means Tinu is not sitting along with designer and compounder. Or Tinu is not sitting with Taji. That means Tinu cannot be designer, Tinu cannot be compounder. Na? Please respond, is this clear or not? Tinu is not compounder, not designer. Why? Because Tinu is on his way. But designer and compounder is not moving or not on the way to any place. They are sitting with Ajay. That is why we can say Chinu cannot be compounder, Chinu cannot be designer. So combining first and second hypothesis, we got the conclusion that Chinu is not compounder, not designer. Then finally designer told nothing. Designer told nothing means designer was silent. But we know that Deb was not silent. Deb told the baker means Deb was talking to the baker. So Deb was not silent. The designer told nothing but Deb told something. So Deb and designer cannot be the same person. Deb is not the designer. Is it clear to all of you why Deb is not the designer? That means these are the conclusions we got from the three hypotheses or combining the three hypotheses. These are the conclusions we got. In the direct mother, you have to analyze all these conclusions separately. Chinu is not baker, Chinu is not compounder, Chinu is not designer. So Chinu can only take the remaining profession that is baker, sorry agent. As Chinu is agent, Ajay is not compounder, not designer and Chinu agent. That means Ajay cannot be agent. So we can say Ajay should be taking the remaining profession. Uh, remaining profession. Similarly, Deb also we can say Deb is not baker, Deb is not designer. Deb cannot be agent because Chinu is already agent. So Deb can only take the remaining profession compounder. Same with the case of Ajay also and remaining profession should be given to Bunty. This is the direct method. I am not giving more time on direct method because this is not the best method. But this is how you have to do if you are following direct method. Direct method means you are not taking the help of any clues or any equations or any formula. You are just writing down the things and that is type, taking time especially in this question. So how to improvise this? One way is you can do elimination. Elimination by analyzing option. So the second method is elimination by analyzing option. Same question we will simplify with elimination. Deb told Baker that Chinu was on his way. Deb was talking to Baker means Deb cannot be Baker. Deb is talking to Baker about Chinu means Chinu cannot be Baker. So Chinu being Baker, there is an option. We know that Chinu cannot be Baker because Deb is talking to Baker about Chinu. So these three are different people, different persons. So definitely Chinu cannot be Baker. So Chinu being Baker, that option can be eliminated. All of you understood? How we eliminated first option? Only because Chinu's baker is written in first option, that is impossible. Now Ajay is sitting across the designer and next to the compounder means, as I have told in direct method also, Ajay cannot be compounder, Ajay cannot be designer. Any option saying Ajay compounder can be eliminated. Option B is saying Ajay is the compounder. So that is eliminated. Now combining first and second statement in the direct method I already explained this. Chinu is on his way. So Chinu is traveling. But Ajay is sitting somewhere. Or designer and compounder is sitting somewhere with Ajay. So Chinu cannot be sitting somewhere. So Chinu cannot be designer. Chinu cannot be compounder. But option C says Chinu is the designer. Na? So option C can be eliminated. ABC eliminated means remaining option should be the answer. You don't have to prove it. Some people the problem is. Some people um, even if three options are eliminated. They still want to confirm fourth option is correct. For that they will uh, take more time. That is not needed. CSAR is telling you that only one option will be correct. So if the other three options are wrong, invalidity of three options ensures the validity of the remaining option. Keep that in mind. That is why we can say the first three options are wrong. So the remaining option should be correct. This is called elimination by analyzing options. Elimination itself you can do five different ways. Here we used analyzing option method for elimination. So just a minute.
there are five ways at least to eliminate option according to the chapter or according to the type of question so here what we did is elimination by analyzing options but the drawback of elimination by analyzing option is elimination by analyzing option is easy only when the options are easy many a times options will be easy that is a good thing CSI will purposefully make the options easy also but those people who follow direct method will say that all questions are very time consuming because you are only using one or two methods to do all questions be flexible with methods that is what i want to tell you after today's class i will provide study material so that you can use that for learning further more methods and more questions you can practice so that you can be flexible with all these methods okay so now what is the third method this is not still the best method you may say that this method is very good but as i told elimination depends upon the nature of the options if the options are difficult this question will be difficult with elimination that is why the third method for the same question is visual method not for this question only i am explaining you the different methods so that you will get an inspiration to try more and more methods with more and more questions in the daily quizzes we will post in post from tomorrow we will add some questions which can be done with different methods so that you can try different methods so what is a visual method you can do visual method means taking the help of a visual different chapters the visual that you have to use can be different in some chapters it is it may be a table in sub, some chapters it may be a venn diagram some chapter it is like drawing lines so here drawing a table will be enough how to draw a table this is a two dimensional data the name of the people is there and the profession of the people are also there then the name in one axis and the profession in another axis that way you can draw a table and now analyze the same sentences deb told baker that chinu is on his way so deb told baker means deb cannot be baker so deb being baker deb and baker coinciding cell can be crossed indicating that deb is not the baker i hope all of you are clear the meaning of this cross Deb is talking to Baker about Chinu. Already for the previous two methods, I explained that Chinu cannot be the Baker, and Chinu cannot be the Baker can be represented like this. Chinu Baker intersecting cell should be a cross. Similarly, the second sentence Ajay is sitting across the designer and next to the compounder. So Ajay cannot be compounder. Ajay cannot be designer. Reason already stated. Now combining it with the first hypothesis, Chinu is on the way, and designer and compounder are sitting somewhere. Chinu cannot be designer, and Chinu cannot be compounder. So that is why we can cross Chinu being compounder, Chinu being designer possibilities. All of you clear? Finally, Deb tall nothing means designer tall nothing means Deb tall something. So Deb and designer cannot be the same. So Deb being designer option can be eliminated. Deb and designer intersecting cell can be a cross. Now starts the magic. Yeah, as the title in in the thumbnail is given, it's not magic, but you will feel like it is magic. Look at this. These three crosses means the remaining should be a tick because there should be a designer, na. Ajay Chinu Deb are not designer, so Bunty should be a designer. If Bunty is designer, Bunty cannot be agent baker or compounder because Bunty can take only one profession. Are you getting it? Now look at it. Three crosses in this column. That means this is a tick. That means this is a cross. That means this is a tick. That means this is a cross and this is a tick. Done. We got the profession of all the people. I'll just show you this one more time. Chinu will be an agent. Whichever order you want to, you can continue that way. Chinu is the agent because Chinu cannot be baker, compounder, or designer. Similarly, you can start from this column if you want. Any row or column, only one cell remaining. All other cells are crosses means remaining should be a tick. That is why this is also a tick. We can say this is tick means these three are crosses. So likewise, you can you can complete this table fully. and after completing the table you just have to match which option says so isn't it simple i agree that drawing table the time taken for drawing table is there but after drawing table it will be very simple and some questions will be very complicated that 
if you don't draw the table you will not understand the question properly it will take double the time to understand the question that is why this method is very important again after uh, after the table what you are doing chinu is the agent ajay is the baker bunty is the designer and deb is the compounder so whatever be the options that does not matter how much tough is the option also you will get the answer easily and this was a september 2022 question for this question also the table method will help you a lot to do this question this is the table you can make so this is homework for you please try this in the study materials we will add this homework question please try this question this is a very interesting question use the table but when you use the table here you have to use a third variable also so how to do that check it out and in the in the uh, video we are attaching along with this link i will share you the method to do how to do three dimensional table also so so we got familiarity with three methods already direct method or logical direct method is what we discussed visual method and we also discussed elimination by analyzing options we will discuss one or two methods also super fast this one i will give you homework and in the video i have put the solution for this Try this question. This is a gate exam question, but very similar CSCR net questions were also asked before. Due to lack of time, I will also start explaining. You can read the question. PDF will be available in the Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. Or subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and check the community tab. We will try to update in the community tab also in the upcoming days. Okay, so three friends RST shared toffee from a bowl. R took one third of the toffees but returned four to the bowl. S took one fourth of what was left and returned three toffees to the bowl. T took half of the remainder but returned two back to the bowl. If the bowl has 17 toffees left, how many toffees were originally there in the bowl? Here, if you are doing the questions with the direct mother or mathematical direct mother, mathematical direct mother is forming an equation and solving the question. This is the equation you will be forming. That is very time consuming to form this equation. Secondly, to solve this equation, it will take even more time because you have to take terms to the right side, then cross multiply. That will be very time consuming. But that is not necessary at all. Elimination by selected statements you can do. Elimination by selected statements. Some of you already got it. Very good. Here the question is saying that R took one third of the toffees from the bowl. Initially, R is coming and taking one third of the toffees. R is taking one third of the toffees means total toffees should be a multiple of three. Then only you can take one third of it. For example, if 38 is the first option, from 38 toffees, you cannot take one third of 38. That is a fraction. Toffees should be whole numbers. Similarly, from 31 toffees, you cannot take one third. From 41 toffees, you cannot take one third because they all three are non multiples of three. But from 48 toffees, only you can take one third because it's a multiple of three. So, three options eliminated that finishes the question. You don't have to try anymore because question says that how many toffees were originally there in the bowl? That is the final unknown. And R is taking one third of the toffees. From what is the number of toffees originally there in the bowl? From that, R is taking one third of it. R is taking one third of it means the total number should be a multiple of three. Total number should be a multiple of three means three options are eliminated. Isn't it super easy? So this was a previous gate exam question. Now some of you may be saying this is gate exam question in CSCR exam. Will they ask like this? Definitely. This is a November 2020 CSCR net question. Here one ruler for every four students means total number should be a multiple of four. 65, 70, 55 are not multiples of 4. Check it out in detail. You read the question, you will understand it. So, elimination by selected statements is a fourth method we discussed. Now, the fifth method I want to discuss very fast is taking example methods. Taking example method. Okay, before that, those of you are feeling that this course is useful and this session is useful, do hit the like button. That will help YouTube to know that this course should be recommended to more and more people so and try to take an effort to invite your friends to this uh, sessions in the upcoming days also daily at 8 30 to 9 pm half an hour daily 
So slow and steady 30 minutes maximum content in 30 minutes that is what we are planning. So please invite more and more people to this course and to this free initiative. Let free initiatives run more and more in YouTube and run by more and more educators. So do encourage the educators to do so. Okay, so I bought a shirt at 10% discount and sold it to a friend at 10% loss. So this question can be done with direct method, mathematical direct method, logical direct method, elimination by substitution method, different methods are there. Due to lack of time, I am only discussing taking example method for this question. What is taking example method? Taking example method is taking a good example to understand the question better or to solve the question better. What is the best example? If percentages involve the best example is... 100 is the best example because dealing with 100 is very easy. Dealing with 100 is very easy means for the required unknown, take 100 as the required unknown. What was the undiscounted price of the shirt? Let 100 be the undiscounted price of the shirt. Read the question with respect to 100. Read the question with respect to 100. Let 100 be the required unknown. That means 100 is the undiscounted price of the shirt. I bought a shirt at 10% discount means I bought a shirt at 10% discount on 100. 10% discount on 100 is 10. I will be discussing percentage mental arithmetic in an upcoming class. That time I will discuss more about how to find any percentage in your mind super fast. So 10% discount means remaining money is 90. That means I bought a shirt at 90 rupee. Now the question is saying I sold it to a friend at a loss of 10%. So 90 rupees is the investment I made for the shirt. 90 rupees is the investment I made for the shirt. The shirt I invested 90 rupees for, I am selling it at a loss of 10% means from 90 rupees, I lost 10% of 90 rupees. 10% of 90 rupees is 9 rupee. 9 rupees subtracted is 81 rupee. That means the entire story is like this. 100 rupees is the MRP of the book, sorry, MRP of the shirt or printed price of the shirt or ma marked price of the shirt. I got it at 10% discount at 90 rupee and I sold it to my friend at 10% discount at 81 rupee. But question says something else because question says I sold to my friend at 729 rupee because look at the question finally question says if the friend paid me 729 means I sold it at 729 rupees now I sold it at 729 rupee I sold it at 729 rupee means with the example we started with we took an example and with the example we started with we are ending up at 81 but we should end up at 729. So you have to check 81 is 9 times is 729. That means our answer is 9 times is original answer. That means our initial values 9 times will be the original initial value. So 100 9 times is 900. So that is the answer. There are some criteria where you can use this method that we will discuss in an upcoming session when we discuss the particular chapter. This is related to monetary problem or profit loss discount. We will be discussing that topic in detail. That time I will explain more about this. So throughout the course I will be, I will be discussing these shortcut methods also. So don't worry. Today I just gave you an introduction towards the shortcut methods. So five methods we discussed. Hope you got a clarity with these five methods. More methods I have explained in two videos already there in this YouTube channel. You can go through, go to the channel and find them in the general aptitude complete full course in that link. Otherwise, we will post it in the study material we are posting those video links also so that you can access it directly. So we discussed about mathematical direct method, logical direct method, visual method, taking example method, elimination by uh, analyzing options, these five methods. I hope it is clear. Is there any doubts? Very fast you can ask. 81 come because 90, 10 percentage uh, reduced. Yeah, the study material is already posted. You can check it out. Uh, 81 because from 90, I sold it to my friend at 10 percent loss means on my price 10 percentage i lost again some of you are requesting for explaining in hindi also due to lack of time i'm sticking on to english only whenever i get time i will try to summarize in hindi that is the maximum i can say uh, because uh, more than that this half an hour we have to stick on to this half an hour uh, schedule because that will make it a uh, more proper learning daily half an hour investing for csar part a section will be good for all of you to adjust the timing also and uh, it will be like a rigorous learning in half an hour maximum content delivery that will be ensured also that is why uh, that is why some of your chat i may have missed but 
जैसे सर एंड माई अदर टीम मेंबर्स हैव रिप्लाइड यू एंड दैट वे यू गॉट क्लैरिटी आई होप सो सौम्य दीप मोर डीटेल्ड कोर्स वी विल प्लान इन द फ्यूचर फर्स्ट लेट अस सी द रेस्पॉन्स फॉर दिस फुल कोर्स इफ द रेस्पॉन्स फॉर दिस कोर्स इज वेरी गुड वी विल प्लान फॉर फ्यूचर कोर्सेस ऑल्सो so let's conclude once again if you felt the session is useful do share this maximum to maximum people that will be very good and tomorrow we will be discussing tips and tricks for general aptitude section very good tips and tricks exam hacks for the upcoming csir exam or gate exam how to do questions in a better way i will be discussing in detail tomorrow and day after tomorrow onwards topic by topic we will be starting the discussion also and along with the class we will be discussing more things more tips and tricks also so i think today we can conclude here yeah check the description of this video you can get all the other free resources and those of you want to be part of the whatsapp telegram channel group this is also a way you can be part of it so uh shikha this course we are fixing it half an hour daily uh other courses you can check out in my channel uh, this uh, previous playlist i have given especially for gate exam we have given a detailed playlist so there the entire csr entire gate exam syllabus is covered in detail those of you want gate syllabus or gate courses that is already there check out that by that you can learn gate exam in gate exam general aptitude in detail so i'll share you the details of that just a minute this is the playlist for gate exam this is the playlist check this out gate 2024 general aptitude free complete course and csir net exam for example today we discussed about shortcut methods for general aptitude about 2 hour content is available in this course csir net general aptitude full course check it out there you can learn more shortcut methods more examples also we have given in it and previous year questions if you want more this playlist you can check out and last latest previous year questions if you want full solution of it june 2023 full solution we have co covered already so uh diksha that is why i am saying please check this extra resources also extra resources also check that by that your learning will be complete so let us keep this course half an hour daily so that this will be like uh, yeah some things when we get it in limited quantity we will feel like it is very uh, useful and very special na and we will try to give maximum maximum uh, effort to attend that also so same way we can uh, uh, keep this session this course 30 minutes daily uh, Uh, nishant what i told is when i get time that day i will try to summarize in hindi the topic mentioned in that uh, lecture but every day that won't be practical because time constraint is there okay let's conclude thank you all of you see you all of you uh, and see more of your friends also in the upcoming sessions do take an effort to invite all of your friends thank you all take care all of you uh, check out the study materials also uh, it is already available in the uh, link check out the description you can get more uh, resources there so thank you take care good night